I think PTSD has a negative connotation to it. When you hear it, um, it just gives you a, a funny feeling, you know. Um, I think that post-traumatic growth is positive. It's a, it's a positive way to say that there's hope for these veterans that come back from difficult times and from, uh, you know, hard experiences. I was injured on March 8, 2012 in Kandahar, uh, pretty early on, 18 days into my deployment actually, and stepped on an IED, I lost both of my legs, and s suffered a bunch of internal injuries, a broken pelvis. Uh, the legs are the most obvious injury, but my, uh, the internal injuries are the most complicated and severe. Um, so most of my military career was actually spent at Walter Reed uh, in the hospital recovering, um, but I'm very proud I served and glad I served and I'll do it again. People think about war as the gunfighters. People think about war as the, the tanks and you know, up-armored vehicles and, and the infantrymen and, and um, people don't think about well, what happens when they're done doing their job, what's left over. Distraction is the biggest thing that golf really does. It focuses your attention away from your problems and back onto something constructive, even if that constructive thing is just going out and having fun. As soon as you start having fun again, you're really making headways into depression and PTSD symptoms. If I was still in the direction that I was going, I don't think that I would have taken my life. I like to think that I'm stronger than that. Right now, 22 veterans commit suicide every day. It's, it's a staggering number, it's, it's an epidemic. With golf and veterans, I don't know, like I said, I think it saved my life. It's given me direction. It's given me hope. We all have value, and this is a program that's gonna help out a lot of veterans. Our veterans are important, and we should treat them that way.